fellow wogs and free thinkers out there. Crazy Delaney coming to you once again from this free, ungodly miracle of the internet. Probably uh, one of the freest things on the planet. No doubt freer than uh, the monstrosity that is the Church of Scientology that we've been so vigorously opposing. I really wanted to talk to you tonight and warn against feeling powerless and feeling hopeless. Because honestly, I have to admit that in reading the affidavit of Larry Brennan, and if you haven't read that document, um, I suggest you do so. It's it's a little long, but it's definitely worth reading. And I'll uh, I'll post the link up at the side. It's not hard to feel a little powerless and frustrated uh, because reading that document and and other documents like it, uh, you know, like the the affidavit of of Vicky Azernan and the affidavits of many others. There have been many affidavits uh, concerning the Church of Scientology uh, that have been taken out. Um, it's not hard to feel frustrated and, and powerless because it hits you the lengths that this organization is willing to go in order to stay afloat, um, in order to stay profitable. Uh, in order to stay in existence. Uh, you know, reading uh, those documents, uh, it really does paint a picture of an organization that is full of just incredible um, degenerate criminality. And they're literally willing to do everything possible to, to stay afloat. They're willing to sue you into bankruptcy. They're willing to harass you until you're, you're you know, you're throwing up your hands and, and saying, "Uncle," uh, you know, while running through the streets naked because you've lost your mind. They've harassed you so much. Um, you think about the brave soul. That was Sean Lonsdale and what happened to him and you know how they possibly drove him to suicide and you think wow can we really can we really fight an organization like that can we really oppose an organization that had Time Magazine write a story about them called The Thriving Cult of Greed and Power. And it was terrible PR for them. It was epic fail for them. It was the apocalypse for them. And, you know, they resorted to the old, you know, Scientology tactic of fair game and they sued the pants off of Time Magazine. They sued so many people. They sued the author of that article. And, you know, they sent a message, you know, to the public at large. They reminded them that if you come after us, excuse my, excuse my Latin here, we will fuck you up. We are not a turn the other cheek religion we will fuck you up. We will come after you. You're going to wish you were never born. And, you know, I think the public got that message loud and clear. They said to themselves, you know what, we'd better steer clear of them. They're crazy. They're probably bad. But, you know, it's not worth the trouble of going down that rabbit hole. And for a long time. Uh, you know, I think that's how they've managed to survive. Because God knows um, it's not from all the money they've got coming in from, from
from their new parishioners. Um, because by all accounts, they're downstat. Highly <laughs> uh, downstat. Um, you know, we have empty orgs. Orgs where they can't, you know, afford, you know, heating. Uh, you can't afford air conditioning in the summer. But I think that's how they've managed to exist for so long. They've managed to scare everyone who might open their mouth. Everyone who knew where the bodies were buried, figuratively speaking. They've managed to, they've been able to scare those people into silence for so long. But what gives me hope is this this gathering of, of people um, who seem to have this unshakable sense of justice and who are determined uh, to shine a light on this and who are willing to press on you know even in the even in the apathy of the larger society. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know that they've ever dealt with that before. And I don't think they know how to deal with it. Um, I don't know that they've figured, I don't, I don't think they've figured out that holding up a sign that says, Paul Matthew Delaney, phone number 425, da 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 da, lives at 1132, whatever, <laughs> works at this company in this building, uh, holding up signs that say that, you know, to show that they know exactly who you are, um, you know, isn't going to work. Uh, you know, they can serve us with cease and desist orders. Um, you know, if you're a minor, they can call your parents and tell your parents that you're involved with a with a hate group or that you're involved with the KKK or the or the Church of Satan um, just as an aside I would um, I would venture to say that the Church of Satan has a little more integrity than the Church of Scientology honest to God <laughs> anyhow um, but just the primary theme here that I'm getting at is to warn against that feeling of powerlessness.